And welcome to Drew Spine looks at the American Tier 4 Premium Fighter, the Solorowski 2PA. I'm Drew Spine, and we are looking at their plane of war planes, and today we're looking at this interesting fighter, because it's interesting, because it's a two-seater. And not because it's just that, it's because the, two the second seater has a gun pointed that way. So it's a tow gunner, which makes it interesting. And the reason why it has a tow gunner is because it was originally meant to escort... Uh, other planes, whether it be bombers or I think the, whether it be bombers or transports. However, it was cancelled. Uh, even though with even though the prototype was working perfectly, even it was cancelled because it was you know in, it was cancelled in favor of the P thirty eight or I mean P thirty six. This guy right here, the Curtis P thirty six. So um yeah. And this thing it will and while this thing is and this thing uh <clears throat> this thing's available be, uh, for the second anniversary of World War Planes, and it'll be available until November 20th, 2015, uh, for the price of $19.99, or in the bundle with the, uh, with this guy, or in the bundle with this guy, for $39.99, and the bundle that, the bundle with just the P, no, oh, just the 2P8, or, or as the, or as the, or as the makers of the plane call it, the Convoy Fighter, and probably, was, and probably is what I'm going to call it, uh, it's one. It has what mm, the bundle has one bundle gives you one thousand four hundred gold as well as seven days premium. Now, as you can see, I got the I got the thirty nine dollar bundle with uh, the P fifty one K and the two P A, and that gives you two thousand seven hundred uh, credits uh, or gold and seven days of premium. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, actually, also with the nineteen dollar bundle, you get three days of premium extra. All right, so uh, let's see, let's see how this thing compares to the other aircraft, to the other aircraft of its tier. Now this may take a little bit because we, because how, how awkward this is. So what are you? Okay, you come with me. As you are the competitor, we'll keep them over here. We'll, we'll look at the competitors only as in it and other fighters. Uh, the P thirty, the P thirty six. All right. That's it. USSR, what are your fighters? These aren't, no, those are attack planes. Ah, come on. Nah. Yeah, the, uh, actually, I'll be right back once I get everything all nice laid out on the other screen, so I'll be right back. Alright, now we got everything all laid out, so let's look at the details. Alright, so it's direct direct competitor, which is another tier 4 American fighter aircraft. Uh, is the XF4F-3, which you are a, um, well, you're a 4F, uh, let's look, ah, I can't look, because I didn't know you're, I forgot. Um, but you're the, the first in the carrier line, oh, well, cat. Um, and, okay, it has more health, it has more firepower, it has more airspeed, it has a less mobility, However, and also it's less altitude performance. So this wins in altitude and and maneuverability. So this, so if the two PA can get in altitude. This will this really can't fight with it. It basically will just be only able to compete up in when it gets to its uh, altitude. Although the difference is very marginal. Uh, like the difference is like what 500, uh, 500 points. So that's not good. That's not good. However, this guy does have you know the tail, tail gunner, which that balances things out, I guess. All right, now P thirty eight, a P thirty six, which is what, uh, which is what, uh, which is well, what got in production over that guy. Now we have more hit points, or it has more, or uh, the two PA has more hit points, has less power. But actually, let's read, let's read what the P thirty eight, the P thirty six, has over the two PA. Okay, the P thirty six has uh, less hit points, more firepower, um, less air speed. Uh, less maneuverability, and better altitude performance. So we we win we win lower down. Uh, no in mobility and firepower. Uh, in mobility and airspeed, and mobility and airspeed. So also we can take more hits than he can. Uh, then moving on to the Russians with the I with the I six or I sixteen. Uh, we uh it has less health than the two PA. Uh, it has. Uh, it has more air, more firepower. It has less airspeed. It has more mobility, and it has less health and performance. The AR-197 American uh, German Premium 
Uh, same hit, hey, same hit points, more firepower, more less air speed, uh, more, more multi and less altitude performance. Uh, and on premium, again, Germany, the BF-19B one, uh, one has less hit points, less firepower, less air speed, less movability, and more altitude performance. That's interesting. And then moving on to the Japanese with their non-premium tier 4, the, uh, well, all zero. Uh, or the A6M1, because all zeros are all zeros except different designations. Uh, zero, the zero has less hit points, less, uh, more, way more firepower. Uh, less air speed, l uh, a little bit more mobility, which is strange. And less altitude performance. And then moving on to Britain with their Bristol 146, which is non premium, again tier 4. It has less hit points, it has less firepower, it has less airspeed, it has less maneuverability, but only just slightly, and it has more uh, altitude performance. And moving on to China with its Kai 46 IC, it has less hit points, it has less firepower, it has uh, let's start speed again just slightly. Uh, Moonability has more of. Uh, uh, he has more of. And it has more altitude performance. It has more altitude, has more altitude performance, alright. And now, since I got this with the. Um, by completing a mission for. Uh, Red Anniversary, which is. which you can do as well. I'm not quite sure when that, when that goes up, but. You can definitely get yourself. one of these if you like. I might as well put these on the on these guys since they're from the, since they're because it's two year anniversary. Alright, apply. And now let's go uh kill things. Alright, so this thing is interesting. It's way more varied than its counterpart, uh, in terms of uh how it performs with other aircraft. It's kind of part is more on the is more on the it's better than everyone it's better than all the other fighters uh, or if if not only just slight if not only just slight however this thing is more interesting so we probably have to use we probably have to use the compare tool uh, when we first join the game in order to figure out what the what aircraft we should fight when and where and how so yeah. All right, and of course, uh, in order to load, I probably have to, I'll probably be right back. Uh, oh, may not be, may not have to. All right, so any fighters? Okay, you. All right, so we can out go. Okay, so we can outspeed everybody. Everybody with the heavies, right? BF-110 scare me because I'm really good with those. Um, now basically outspeed everybody and can take more hits than everybody else. Uh, on the enemy team, so what do you gotta be? So I, that's what we gotta do. As well as we have better altitude, as well as we have better altitude performance. Alright, and as you can see, once we're in game, we have a tow gunner. Alright, so do we want to sit on the same level or do we want to go higher? Uh, you know what? Let's stay on the same altitude for now. This is what I typically do. That answers my question. Okay, there's our. Well, here's you got the window. Got the winning bid. So, okay, he has a friend. Oh, we can't really climb, can we? Ah, uh, yeah, I'll get this guy now. Yeah, no, no, pull down, pull down. Don't flip over. Don't need to. Okay, there we go. 
Here's to get up to this guy. I'm looking for fire guns. Pretty long. Okay, let's get there. We have more airspeed, so we should be able to catch you up. Uh, unless, I get, unless he gets owned. Okay, he's down there. We're not going to deal with him. Oh, they just went past us. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, let's get out of this guy. We're not going to worry about the uh, tech plane right now. He does whatever he wants. We're going to do whatever we want. Come on. Maybe a front end. There we go. Oh, we gotta get after this guy right quick. Come on, there's B for the win. Remember, if they get on our tail, we're gonna have to take care of them. Or at least annoy them a bit. Yeah, he's chasing our he's chasing a heavy fighter, so we our heavy fighter should be fine. Okay, we got rid of him, alright. Oh, I think he just realized he's being chased. Our guy's moving on to me, yeah, he realized. Oh. Okay, so for him, we got Oh, yeah, this guy's more this guy has more uh, airspeed, so let's go right by him. Oh, get him, gunner, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> I forgot we had a gunner. Oh, I think we got we got something as this because he's a smoking and he and he's the uh, get him, gunner. Okay, did you shoot our tail? Did we get him? Ah, oh, didn't get him. All right, and then we got oh we got oh yeah. I mean, I was like, okay, they only have one, they have only one attack plane, so yeah. But we definitely saw a gunner doing some work. Yeah, I mean, that's something to remember this thing. is It has a gunner, even though it's a fighter. Uh, okay, let's see if this guy realizes he's alone and stops taking our stuff. Remember, he's a tail gunner too, although we don't have a... We have a lot of health, though. So we still got a lot of health remaining. Uh, let's stick with our team. We are winning in points, so if we so if the time ends, we're good. Oh, there you are. Now I wonder if he realizes he's under attack now. Alright, he's on an attack aircraft. He can just keep doing what he's saying. Oh, he's being engaged by one of ours. Okay, use our boost. There you are. Actually keep boosting. Remember, it's BF1 tanking wreck us if we in the gear, gear engagement. Now, what we're gonna do is just going right past him and give him in range of my tail gunner. Yeah, tail gunner for the win! Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Suck, tail gunner! <laughs> I didn't know actually that was gonna work. I mean, I knew it was going to do something, I didn't know it was going to own his face right off. Or maybe he got killed by the AA, I don't know. I mean, but let's just say you got killed by our gunner just for the sake of making this plane look better. Okay. And, of course, this came with 100% crew. Alright, so, um, yeah. So, that was a pretty good game. Uh. Wait, we won't damage two things? I thought we did more than that. Oh, well. Alright, anyway, we got, uh, we got 12,827, uh, credits and 372 experience without premium. We got that place on the team. Um, all right, there we go. And then damage, what's damage? Yeah, I mean, if we do that, then we're third by just getting that much damage done. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I wonder if I, I wonder if I took and actually get, got that guy, but I think he might have. I'm pretty sure he did, because we, we got the kill. Uh, we got we straight up got the kill. We didn't get the uh, we didn't get the assist as if one of our teammates got him or if uh, or if they got killed by AA. Uh, and he was right behind us, and I was pulling up to allow my gunner to actually have a better shot. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he got killed by our gunner. Which yeah, I mean that's the most I got the most my gunner ever done. My gunner's ever do, done in well, uh, World of Warplanes because my gunners do a lot in World of Tanks and uh, and Armored Warfare. So. Yeah. I mean, uh, 
I mean, with my BF-110, I'm pretty sure it has a gunner, and I just never, you know, I never get anything done with my gunner. I mean, okay, maybe with the BF-110, I'm too busy killing everything with its main, with its main guns, but still. And maybe they made the gunner a little awesome to make up for the help, make up for the play not being that awesome. Um... I mean, that's a, that, that, does, that definitely makes this plane interesting. I mean, it's not just a Curtis P30, P36, now is it? I mean, it kind of is, but it's kind of not, because it's made by a completely different company. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, remember, this plane's $19, and we got what? And we got 12,000 credits without premium? Um, oh, well, you know what? That might be because, that might be because of the five-time bonus, but that might, but when that, that counted, I don't know. All right, let's start off against some uh, tier fives, which are P40s uh, and the BF110E and the Spitfire, which we only got move belty over. Yeah. However, we got another. We have another belty which is not shown here, and that is someone shooting reverse if they get on our tail. Uh, so yeah. And then you guys, yeah. This guy, this guy's a more firepower, but then again, we got a tail gunner. Okay, I'll be. Here. I'll be right back once it loads the VR pack. Alright, let's do this. I think we'll get a little altitude. Contact's already, eh? Those heavy fighters, that could be a problem. Oh, but that fire's not. Okay, okay, yes, it is. It's P40. He out, he out does us except. Oh, that's like. I think they're not wanting to kill me. Actually, yeah, oh, okay, they're just exploding next to me. Actually, we can get this guy. Oh, he sees me. Yeah, I'll get out, get out. Yeah, he's armed ability? What are you? Oh, another P40. Fantastic. I mean, that's just, that's just flak. Oh, this is more of a full match, okay. Oh, oh, let's, ha let's save him. It's like that, I didn't need the little aim thing. Little bell thing. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, assisted. Oh, oh, that's where the other fire comes from. Okay, let's get out. He's trying to be anywhere but in his line of fire. Kind of worked. Oh, whoa, 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 great. Oh, fan fantastic. Oh, great. Yeah, I needed that. Get him, Gunners. Get him. Get him. Get him. Why is this working? How is this working? Oh. Okay. Again, the gunner is pretty downright amazing at doing his job. Because even with that harsh channel was playing, you saw how much damage that gunner was doing to that guy. Yeah. Gunner is pretty good at his job. We know that for a fact now. Alright. I mean, I guess this fight is kind of worth it for being a fighter with a gunner in the back. Alright, we'll be right back with the South Battle. Alright, let's check the detail. Let's check the uh, max results. And we lost. Yeah, this should be a little bit more. Yeah, this should give us, yeah, this should give us a little bit more interesting of the e-monies. Alright, so we got... Uh, nine, we got 6,390 credits and 84 experience without premium. And we did only, uh, is how much? And we, only, and we only did 68 damage. Yeah. Alright, so yeah. Well, this thing does make uh, money. This thing does make the money. Yeah, somehow. I mean, it's kind of funny. It makes a little bit more money than the P4, uh, P51K. Does, which I find to be weird. Yeah, that's a tier seven. This is a tier four. But then again, I am a little bit better with this than the P51K. Um, so yeah, that's something. All right, there we go. Okay, a tier 5 match. 
Although most of us are tier 4s. And we're, all, and we're going up against a Falk Wolf, which we only got mobility over, and a P40 again, only mobility. However, again, we also, have the, we also have the added bonus of that guy in the back. But you know, that doesn't do anything if you're always down the meat's tail. It only does something if they're behind yours. Actually, that's our getting to not dude. Yeah, that thing doesn't really like it. Oh, great. That would be the focal point that I'm going after him. Don't know who that is. But, uh, I don't know if that's getting attacked, but we need to get after him. That's all. I mean, he may not be able to fight off, fight off all by himself. Oh, the Falk was guarding his attack plane, I see. What, which way we're going? Which way we're going? Oh, we're, oh, he's going to me! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, that's a lot, guys. Remember, he's in our territory, so he's getting flacked. Remember, if Phil gets on our sick, our children is going to let us know. Suck it. Suck it. I mean, I love being my Falk Wolves, but come on. I, I like to pull their speed. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't run to him. That'd be bad. I think that's a Wildcat. Yeah, this guy. Remember, he's better in every way except for uh, except for uh, movability. So all that he's doing right now doesn't really help him that all that much. What we probably would need to do is probably just go for altitude. Oh, we're almost out of bullets. I mean, we're, we're our guns are almost overheated. Maybe more damage. Well, this guy's doing some fancy flying. Yeah, let's go after the. I'm going, you know, since he has like five guys on his six, let's go after him. Let's go after these guys. Oh, he was down. I thought he was going to go up. We got, oh, there's a Bristol. Let's go get after him. Whenever he's going down, I'm going up. Oh, I'm on fire. Ah. Yeah. No one shot me from the right. No one shot me from the left, but he got me. Alright. Oh, <laughs> now we're falling. Oh, he's last man standing. That's unfortunate. Oh, he thing he managed to either run into that guy. Oh, wow! This guy's supposed to wipe the sun after I uh, went down. Come on, roll cat. His engine, his uh, wings damaged. Come on, you can do this. Let's leave him on chase. All right, well, uh, right, well, I'll be right back once it gets once it gets out of battle. Uh, as soon as it, as soon as we get in the garage, I mean the hangar. So I'll be right back. All right, back. Uh, let's see how well he did. Uh, Two thousand credits, not that bad. Yeah, get done better. If we stayed on it, we could have done better, but I wanted to make, I wanted to try to get those guys off of us, because I knew they were going to get on us eventually. Alright, well, I think we got time for a war match. I'm liking this. I'm liking this guy a lot. I mean, yeah, I mean, he may not be the best tier four in terms of everything, but 
you know, he has a tail gunner, and, you know, he's the best doing what he does, which I'm not quite sure what the, I guess the new ability, and all two performance, I guess is what this guy can do, or was that the B-51B, or B-51K, ah, uh, I, mean, I guess it's mostly him, but, yeah, I mean, this thing's not bad, yeah, I mean, for fight, for $19, especially for money making, uh, it's definitely worth it, and if you want more unique aircraft, because, I mean, tell me, how many, how many, uh, how many aircraft in this game have, uh, tow gunners? I don't know, how many fighter aircraft in this game have tow gunners? And you're gonna... And that's probably just this guy. Uh, I mean, there are some heavy... I mean, of course there's attack planes with tow gunners, and there's some heavy fighters with, uh, tow gunners, but... But those are where the tow gunners are. They're not in the, uh, they're not in fighters. So, I mean, it's a bit worth it for that aspect, because that is, you know, that's something that... I can know what their fighter really has is a tail gunner. And it seems like its stats are kind of based around that fact. Uh, that it has a tail gunner as an extra thing. Alright, oh, let's go with these guys. The guy there. And this guy right there. Okay, let's engage this guy. We're going in. Alright, that guy. What are you? Okay, they're all tier 4. Oh, woo, we're facing tier 3s. Here, okay, tier 4. Oh, no, we're going to have the heavy fighter. Any hits? I can't believe there's no, there were no hits. Okay. We are in the middle of a ball. Okay, took it, Jack. Are we higher? Oh, we are on the high. We are on the edge of our uh, flight envelope. Oh, what? Why are you shooting me? Why are you shooting? What are you shooting me? You barely took us of the clouds. Oh. Just keep dodging and using our tail gunner. This guy for a little bit, now get off him. And Shogun is not gonna fight him off all by himself. He might try, he might succeed actually, I'll think about it, but. Oh, and then. Oh! That was close. Yes, yeah, keep. Ah! There, yeah. We just got in the middle of a bunch of guys, and you just can't do that with warplanes or war thunder. Or most flying games, for that matter. You can't just be in a bunch of two guys and expect to live. You know, like, we, could we go out of that? Probably not with our speed. Alright, let's just turn the hangar. And then, after, and then once, uh, and then once it gets out of battle, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll say our, we'll say, I'll send my closing thoughts, and we'll end it. So we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. Uh, just for the sake of looking at it. Eh, we still got money. Not a lot of money, but we still got money. Um, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, that just happens in World of Warplanes, is you just get swarmed, and that's it, you lose. Because uh, you can't really do much about it. Well, in most planes. Some planes you can. Some planes you can. Like you, you could do probably do well in that situation. If it ever loads. Uh, you probably do well in this situation, maybe a little bit, but otherwise, not really. I mean, even this thing did okay. I mean, the fact that it has a tail gunner means that if anyone's on its tail and they can't be shook off, which again is another thing, that, which, is, which again is another th common thing in warplanes, it can handle it. Because, well, as a tail gunner, that does stuff. He has like a big, he has a, he may, he may, he may look like a 30 cal or a 50 cal, but it's sort of, but it's sort of flak bullets or something, because th those bullets explode. Um, which, again, it's kind of like all the other gunners in the game, because they, they don't really explode very much, or at least the B-51, or, yeah, the BF-110 uh, gunner, does, gunner doesn't really, uh, shoot explosive stuff all that well, he just shoots stuff with his, um, uh, with one of his, with his MG, uh, well, not really MG-42, so... Um, so yeah, is it worth $19.99 or is it worth being part of that bundle? I will say yes it is. Uh, even though if you look at, if you look at stats, they may not be too, too awesome. Uh, they may not, I mean, they, they may not be, um, 
you for instance, but however, if compared to other tier fours, uh, they are pretty good. And the fact that, it, what, and what makes it worth being a premium plane, uh, no, basically makes it, well, what makes it, well, no, what makes it worth buying it over this, uh, other than this is just fat, um, um, is the fact that it's a tow gunner, and the tow gunner really does add on to it, add on to the, uh, fun of the plane, because, again, you can just use the tow gunner to kill things, the tow gunner might be a little better than, than, uh, killing things as your, than your main gun, so, yeah, I mean, it's definitely worth it, um, as if you like American fighter aircraft, uh, it's definitely worth it, um, and for making money as well, because this thing makes a little bit more money than you, for some reason, I'm not quite sure how, but it does make a little bit more than this. The reasons are beyond me. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe I just, I'm better with this than I am with the uh, P-51K, which you can look in the description for the P-51K video, uh, or just in the, or just, uh, in the video before this in, in the playlist. Uh, and, you know, it's just, it, it's one of those planes I'm pretty good with, I suppose. Uh, like the BF-110, the, uh, BF-110, and this guy, oh, no, that guy. What, actually, where is he? Right, oh, and that guy. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's, that'd be it for this video, and, again, this thing is totally worth it. It is a very good plane. I mean, even this, uh, it's slow and far, far, and that's about it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you're looking for a unique plane, then I would suggest it. If you're looking for another American plane that makes money, I would suggest it. If you're just looking for another premium plane to make money, or to train up your pilots, because I think you can, uh, it's, wor it's worth it. I think you can train up pilots in this game, not quite sure. Uh, but yeah, it's worth it. Uh, train up all your American fighter pilots. Um, it's definitely worth it. So, um, yeah, that'll be it for this video, and I guess, I mean, that'll be it for this video, so thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys who watching on this video, because that's me. You also be on a lot to me if you too leave a comment, and would like to make sure to me, and to me if any you in series, uh, like what DLC you want me to do next, you want me to do next. Or in tips and I'll use the, uh, Solovoski 2PA, or any questions about it, please let me know, even if I'm, yeah, um, please let me know. I'll be uh, great. I'll be pleased to answer them if I can. And um, yeah, uh, and I guess see you in the second.